With all this talk of the NDIS review and the report and the proposed changes, one thing that I think that's being missed pretty much completely is that when we say that we're definitely listening to participants, it better hold true. And there can be a lot of different opinions on the NDIS. That's not only okay, it's important, but what we really need to just make sure that we're not doing is forgetting to make a scheme genuinely works for participants who are not easily summed up by assessment. I reckon it's all of us, <laughs> but I do think that various privileges may allow some people to mask parts of their lives from the NDIS gaze. The NDIS gaze. <laughs> I don't even think it's something to think about, but for some of us, there's near total exposure in terms of the risk of being made to justify our supported existence at any number of levels the number of situations. The thing is, is that it's pretty ridiculous to think that disabled people of all people are going to be efficiently served by a funding body that has authority over our lives in a way that makes our lives substantially encumbered with respect to expectation that society has of the general population. It's contrary to purpose. <laughs> think about it. I really feel like that part is getting overly obfuscated and comp by complications. We have to make sure that participants are not encumbered by the scheme. If I want to be a rock star or a hermit or an influencer or a politician or medical specialist, I should be supported to do so in a way that is not just hypothetical, but that genuinely considers what that looks like and how to preserve that level of autonomy while ensuring stability and sufficiency as effectively as possible. There's far too much subjective judgment being used on and against participants under the heading of sustainability, consistency, or whatever normative approach is currently trending, and far too little respect being shown for participants and our diverse and varied actual existences that are not in terms of the NDIS. The NDIS must be designed to craft plans on our terms. Tell me what's so controversial about that.